Well, whether you're a player, coach, fan, in the band, or cheerleading squad, the Mississippi High School Activities Association has some new guidelines out for how you experience sports this fall. Well, choosing to follow or not could be the uh, difference of you getting into games or meet at all. So this is Alex Love went through their policies and spoke to parents plus coaches about the moves. At many times, we've all used sports as a type of escapism from things going on in our lives that may be stressful, but whether it's to the football field, the cross-country course, the volleyball court, or others, the threat to COVID-19 will be following us this fall. In Mississippi, high school sports for many are a second culture. There's always a big crowd. There's tailgates um, in the end zone. Uh, I mean, students travel really well. You see the grill smoking with the burgers cooking and the pregame music and man, just everybody is uh, just fired up and, and ready for football. But if you want to enjoy a new season in 2020, you'll have to show up in a mask and use hand sanitizer stations. Fans can also expect their temperatures taken before entering. That's kind of a small sacrifice that you'll that you'll have to make. People are going to make a decision. Well, will I go and wear a mask and sit outside or sit in a gym or will I stay home? Another new guideline for teams on the field or court is keeping players at a proper physical distance while wearing face coverage when not feasible. That's one of the, uh, the biggest obstacles I think we're going to face as far as just the football game aspect of it. That's a plan that you know our school district is going to put into place. Tailgating and other pregame gatherings are also highly discouraged this season. Plus, no contact should be made with players and spectators before competitions. We are going to make sure you know, our student athletes are taken care of. Those we spoke to in the Mississippi High School Activities Association emphasize that these rules and guidelines could change as we get closer to the fall season and local school districts can get more strict with their own guidelines if they see necessary. Reporting in Clinton, Alex Love, 12 News.